Paul Holmes and the Fitzgerald Keglers were riding high. Since the return of Frank the Franchise Geishak three years earlier, Dewitt Donditkowski, Fran Geishak, and Captain Holmes were undefeated. Their competition had not even come close. Coming into Buffalo for the traditional three-game series against the Killers, Holmes had visions of a bowling dynasty and expected another cakewalk. But someone else had different plans. Jim Killigrew, captain of the Killers, was tired of losing and even more tired of Holmes incessant crowing. He had been hard at work in the off season. Investing heavily in the free agent market, he brought two rookies to Buffalo, planning an ambush on Holmes and the Keglers. From downstate New York, he signed Joe Zanetti, a man with toughness of the public school administrator. And from Johnson City, New York, came a bowling assassin known only as Hugger.
ladies and gentlemen, fellow citizens of Buffalo and boys and girls, it wasn't even close. We're talking roadkill here. The Keglers stunk worse than Don and Holmes's room on Sunday morning. Their undisputed streak broke and the Keglers stumbled into game two. And then, controversy! <laughs> Irregularity led to traded accusations between the captains and raised voices. A priest was called. Captain Holmes was even accused of cheating. Imagine that. Fitzgerald Keglers were reeling an hour before they were invincible and now they faced a possible sweep. The experts said that they had gotten old, bald, fat, and couldn't bowl. But the experts were wrong. They could still bowl. Captain Holmes knew that they would need a dramatic event to reverse the momentum and remind them who they were. But from where and how, what could awaken the soul of the Fitzgerald Keglers? In a moment where destiny reverses, and sport becomes magical. Frank Geisha, the spirit of the Fitzgerald Keglers, walked up to Captain Holmes and said, Holmes, if you keep bowling 100, we're not going to win anything. Something stirred deep within the Keglers. Was it the eight dozen extra hot chicken wings that he had for lunch? Or the ghosts of the old men from the Polish club saying, Zesvalsha Nedaisha, or the last one wins the kielbasa. You can get it done. What's more, you gotta get it done. There's a gleam, man. There's a gleam. Let's get the gleam, all right? Let's go. What a piece of that championship. Put it in here. All these years, Mike, that I could talk. Come out here and be nice and relaxed. Jeez, I'm a nervous wreck. Hey, guys, where else would you rather be? story, Paul Holmes captained his Keglers to a stunning Game 3 victory. It was age over youth, obesity over trim, and Hyundai over Chrysler. The 
listen, my children, and you shall hear of a bowling tomb built on wings and sheep deer who seeks not fortune, honor, or fame. Just ten more frames of this hallowed game where some men will fail and others will fly. And on this day, Captain, hold your kielbasa high.